All right, today, Wine and Dine Wisconsin isn't just a great place to sample food and libations. You have the opportunity <laughs> to learn cooking tips from some of the best chefs in town. That's right. We're here now with executive chef Michael Fecker from El Mito and Zesty. I didn't even know you had a new place. Look at the palm of my hand. He's <laughs> open. open. Trust me. Oh, yeah. Yes. yes. Good, morning, Good morning, darling. How are you, ladies? You. We also have Laura Bauer yes. here. You're from the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Correct. Thanks for being yes. here, you Thank guys. You. Hey, yes. Chef, you know how I knew that you were here today? Was it the smell down there? I could smell you. It was your yeah. garlic, baby. Away. She means she could smell the garlic, <laughs> not me. Let me correct her for you. I could smell you yeah. all the way to my desk. Thanks a lot, Molly. <laughs> I appreciate it. Good. Nice Great to see you, ladies. Nice to see you. Thank what are you, you making okay. today? Well, uh, I'm I doing think it, it has garlic in it. It is. It is. It's got shallots and garlics in it. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the dishes that I'm going to do on the Saturday. And this is all about fall flavors. Roasted mushrooms, yeah. there's a ragu and a polenta. Basically, the polenta being the white canvas and the mushroom being the flavor profile. That's going to cover it. And all of those things we're going to share with you at this stage. And you know more than anything, Wine and Dine Wisconsin is not about just food. It's about this topography and landscaping of food that we have created. I remember when I first started joining this market in the year 2000. Maybe I should be quiet and maybe you should speak a little bit. Journalism school, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're doing. Yeah, exactly. Thanks a lot. Yeah. So when I good. when I started in the year 2000, really the topography of food wasn't the same. It is so colorful now, yeah. and it's all because of every one of you out there mm -hmm. that you bring that request. It. They demand it, mm -hmm. and we provide it, and that's mm -hmm. the beauty of it. And Wine and Dine Wisconsin gives us that opportunity to share what that topography is going to be all about, and yeah. it is right now. Are, is everybody as you know colorful as as? The Maybe chef Ecker? not quite. Yeah, no, but they're all <laughs> going to put on a good show. They're all going to put on a good show. We have a lot of good people coming. Um, we're going to talk about Himalayan flavors. We have some holiday spirits. Um, Justin Abrahamian is going to be there. Sanford will be there. It's going to be a good time. It's exciting. You have yeah. so many different showcases, people oh, on yeah. stages, where you can really learn a lot yeah. from watching these chefs Absolutely. do their thing. Look at Chef right there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at is that, that me? <laughs> God, that guy looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever he is, I don't know who he is. Well, and the food is one thing, but mm -hmm. one of the things we've learned is that you have a whole lot of wine, but Absolutely. that's not all either. There's beer and yeah. spirits we, as well, we're right? We're going to have 70 wines, 40 beers, 40 spirits, and over 50 food samples to try. So if you want to try food and drink, this is your place to be. Yeah. That's fantastic. So this is the one you're making. What are you doing now? Yeah, right now what I did, I added the polenta, which is basically cornmeal, except I get to charge you more when I call it polenta. I you like know, that. It becomes very <laughs> exotic. And mm -hmm. that's the beauty of it. It's exactly the same, except polenta is uh, yellow corn, corn uh, bricks or cornmeal yeah. is white corn. So that's what okay. it is. Then the parmigiano is going to go in there. And talking about wine, by the way, I mm -hmm. am serving two, uh, three wines those uh, two days. Two of them are going to be with my presentation. One of them is going to be at the Critics' Choice. And the beauty of Wine and Dine Wisconsin, I think what all the viewers need to know is they need to ask and communicate with us chefs because yeah. we all have stories. Mm -hmm. Food is a story that we all share and a language that we all speak. Mm -hmm. You just need to know what my accent is towards food. And that's what yeah. you need to do. So ask a little bit more. People get so intimidated, you know, though, if they're, if they're not a good cook or if they've been told they're yeah. not a good cook or yeah. they just don't really have any sort of, if they're not adept at all in the kitchen. So what do you suggest to people when they watch chefs like this, if they want to cook better, is it just practice? It's not only practice, is that what I just said at the beginning. It's important that you ask, mm -hmm. first of all, communicate with us. Second of all, they ask me what is the biggest mistake that cooks or home chefs make. Right. We do not repeat the mistake that we made the night before. The minute you do that, you've just thrown all that lesson out the door. Mm -hmm. You just went to school for no reason. So repeat what you're doing, become a master at one thing, think about the basics and don't complicate it. Yeah. When I do a Parmesan polenta, it's because I want to teach you the technique of making a polenta. Yeah. Forget about the sun-dried tomatoes, the portobellos. Those are all colors. The canvas is right there. Mm -hmm. Forget about the colors right now. Then we get painting a little bit later. Yeah. Keep it simple. I love it. Yeah. Take the foundation first. For mm -hmm. people who want to attend, uh, tell us a little bit about the show, the logistics of it, because it's two days. It's two days, yep. And then we have on Saturday only, we have a Critics' Choice, and that's going to be some of the restaurants from Carol Deptola top 30 list right. so you're going to get the really good restaurants like wolf peach cafe sorat um it's a little more high end and there's an extra cost to get in but it's totally worth it if you're looking to try those really nice dishes that's mm -hmm. saturday only that's saturday only okay. yep and that will give you access to the main floor and critics choice okay then mm -hmm. what about sunday sunday you're going to have the same 
great sample lineup just without critics choice so okay. all the beers wines um, chefs like Michael Farker will be presenting you'll get hands-on demonstrations from MATC so you can really get your hands dirty yeah. Look at that. that. Young meat. This Don't is listen delicious. to it. It's not worth it. It's a must. The critic's choice is a must. Because yeah. again, we get to walk around, talk to these flavor creators, and ask what it is, and pair it with wine. This wine is going to be amazing. I'll be pouring it at uh, critics shows, but there are going to be many wines and flavors. Yeah. How many times do you get a chance to have a platform as such, to go around and taste everything within one space? How many times? You don't. By the way, I just put the polenta in the, the middle of the table, yeah. and we have a basil leaf, and we, okay. sometimes you wonder, we always cut basil. You just smash oh. it, put it on top, you broke the connecting fibers. Now, the, the minute the, the heat... The like... Yeah, exactly. Pop. The minute the heat hits that, is going to do what? Is going to release its flavor. Mm. For the first time, basil is not cut. You don't need it. That looks fantastic. We're going to give the info, up, we're gonna give the info while you place that up. Mm -hmm. All right, you can purchase tickets before the show at certain pick and oh save gosh. locations or at wineanddinewisconsin.com and save $10 off the price of admission. So make sure you check that website. We're also giving away tickets this morning, four of them, in <laughs> fact. If you call us right now at 414-799-4444, lucky caller number seven wins. We Guys, forgot a thank spoon. You. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah. How are you going to taste it? It's not for you to taste that for me. That was, I was just fooling yeah, that's you. That was my lunch. <laughs> what I was going to say, chef. ladies, love you. Some basil oh, for you. Oh, thank, thank you. Basil. Oh, that smells good, mm. doesn't See it? See you at Wine and Dine. All right. Wonderful. Thank you so Thanks, much, chef. Thank you.